Welcome back to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Alexander Moskotin. He is the co-founder of Athena DMP, and they are a telecom leader reimagining the future of AI in the telecom industry. Alexander, welcome. Yeah, hi, everyone. Thank you for having me. Yes, it's our pleasure. Um, it's been great here in National Harbor so far. We are at day three of ITW 2024. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about what's been your favorite part about the conference so far? Uh, of course, uh, I'm very glad to be here. And of course, I'm glad to have conversation with you, Buffy. Thank you very much. So for me, the most favorite part of this conference was to meet like-minded people, to learn some new trends, and uh, of course, to tell about our project. Well, when it comes to your project, I mean, tell us a little bit more about Afina's innovative AI-powered platform and how it helps operators maximize revenue. Yeah, of course. Uh, Afina data monetization platform is based on AI and ML-based. Uh, so um, in few words, we bring the new stream of income for mobile operators. So how it works, Afina is installed in mobile carrier perimeter and it analyzes the vast amount of data in a moment. And after she makes thousands of promo campaigns in a minute. So Afina understands that this subscriber is interested, for example, in going to Paris and she could send him SMS with booking app. That subscriber is interested in a credit card she could call him by IVR and offer the best credit card in the market, and so on, so on. So Athena bring like a part of digital market to a telecom market. Uh, and of course, we understand that mobile operators, they want to have some budgets from uh, digital market, and we know how to bring it, we know how to open this door. And I love that Athena is a she. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and she is so powerful. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit more about some of the challenges Athena is seeing across the telecom industry? Yes, very good question. Uh, of course, uh, I can tell you about some of our challenges. So the first challenge is the increasing of competition. So this is, telecom markets are very huge markets and very interesting market for a vast amount of different companies and projects. So for us, it's... We had to be seen in this ocean of different projects. The second challenge, I think, it is uh, like regulations. So uh, telecom companies yes. uh, operate in a highly regulated environment and uh, very frequency challenges. So we, we couldn't be the same on any market. For example, we have a challenge uh, not so far that uh, uh, one mobile operator really want to install Athena, but there was prohibited to send promise messages to the subscribers. That's why we have this challenge and we developed the new channel for the mobile carrier, mobile operator, and solve this problem and sign a contract. Yeah. Definitely so many different changes and regulations and different environments globally. Uh, so it seems like Athena is definitely agile to adapt to those different markets. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And there's so many things going on in this industry when it comes to things like RCS, especially with the news about Apple going to adopt RCS, CPaaS, Communication Platform as a Service, the rise in AI. I mean, we've heard how many, how many times do we hear AI here at this conference this week uh, across the telecom industry. What would you say is the trend that we should be keeping our eye on when it comes to AI-based solutions, specifically for mobile operators? Of course, of course, uh, I will answer this question. So. We all know that RPU is getting low and low year by year. So I think it's my own opinion, but we can see that all most of subscribers they are stopping sending SMSs. They start using messengers. Right. They stop using voice. They are also calling from messengers. So in few years, if everything is going the same way, mobile carriers, mobile operators will only provide data for the subscribers. So, but they still have the best data. They know everything about us, they know everything about the subscribers. So I think the main point and the main trend will be monetization of this data. And of course, the monetization based on AI because AI could do much better than people. Right. So uh, this is my opinion. And of course, on what you get, uh, had to keep on eyes, of course, on Afina. <laughs> 
Well, we will definitely be keeping our eyes on her. Yeah. Athena, for sure. And if some of these mobile uh, operators are interested in Athena, where can they go to learn more? Uh, so we, you can contact me and I will tell all the questions if you need. How about a website? Do you have a website? Yeah, of course. AthenaDMP.com. AthenaDMP.com. Alexander, it's been such a pleasure to have you here live on JSA TV from ITW 2024. Thank you so much for giving us some great insights about Athena and the industry as a whole. We do appreciate it. Thank you very much and best wishes to your subscribers. Yes, and to our subscribers and viewers tuning in, thank you so much for joining us. Stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking. Bye-bye.